Welcome back to Everything Whiskey. I'm Callum. And I'm Sam. And today we're looking at the Peaky Blinder Irish Whiskey. Alrighty, so back to the Zoom episode. We just got told we're going to be locked down for even longer. Whatever. Um, we'll see how things go. Fine. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't be bothered. I just don't care anymore. <laughs> um, <laughs> my will to live is gone. Peaky Blinders Whiskey, uh, it's basically by a brewery. Uh, they started it. The brewery's called Sadler's. Um, I don't really, th this is like one of their only like legit spirits. Like the other ones are kind of like, what were the other ones you Lecules. said? They were like, and there was yeah, a rum, they're like so. raspberry rum weird like things. Yeah. I don't know. Um, which is fine, uh, but they're not exactly like a whiskey distillery. Like that's what, no. that's their thing. This is just like something they've done. They do s s some spirits, liqueurs and stuff, but they're mostly, they're predominantly a um, brewery. Mm -hmm. So um, Sadler's Peaky Blinders blended Irish whiskey bottle design. I mean, it's fine, but it's so like, I get it. Look, it's cash grab, whatever. It's, whatever go for it so yeah. fair you know, fair play to them they're using the imagery of the popular show and they're making money off it so fine um is that even legal surely there's some copyright apparently law. so <laughs> or is peaky Maybe. blinder a because that I, like it I might be a generic it. term or is something. that an irish term? i've watched are they Irish or are they? I thought it was like British. Oh, well, I think it's like both. It depends yeah. on like Maybe the, like the term, regions and know. stuff. Cause there's like, I think it's both. Cause it's like back then it was like the Irish and the British had beef and stuff because yeah. they were all living in whatever. Anyway, um, I don't know. Maybe Peaky, if you know, maybe Peaky Blinders is like an actual, like a general term, not something oh, is the show that's like Peaky specific. Peaky Blinder or Blinders? Pe Peaky Blinders. This is just singular. Maybe that's why. Yeah, no, but may, I know, but I think think that if it was like a literal like term that the show made up uh, for the show, they still wouldn't be able to call it just because of one letter change. I'm assuming that it's probably like a general term named for something like. Yeah. Let's find it. Um, yeah, I don't know if, how much of that you're going to include, but basically we just Googled it and Peaky Blinder is a historical name for the gang that the show was Based made on. after. Yeah, yeah so uh, I guess they can't really take credit for a literal historical uh, group. Whatever, not the most interesting part. Well, it might be. I don't know if how <laughs> this is. Straight out the, on the nose, nose. It's straight ethanol. Ethanol, basically. yeah. I've got a oh, white. I call myself such a big glass. I, I don't know. I've got it like looks open... dark as well, but my lighting in here is weird. But I reckon it's probably some E150 or something. Because it's so, yeah. non age statement. Um, I mean, in the bottle, it's dark. So, um, so nose straight up, like thin ethanol, 40% yeah. and it's, um, yeah, and it's like very metallic. I mean, that, that sums up the nose perfectly. Yeah, it's just there's some metallic. There's some vin sharp vanilla notes um, as well. There's some free kind of sultana notes, the but they're all push, like... I reckon. I reckon it's vanilla, but it's that acrid, sharp, chemical, like additive vanilla. When I think you of know, that, I think like, like the, the vanilla essence, which is still... It's clearly vanilla. You know the one that you know the one that has like it's vanilla flavoring or whatever, but it's it has vanilla in it, but it's like actually got alcohol in it. It's for like cooking and baking and stuff. Vanilla it's like a, isn't that what that is? There's that the alcohol one, I but yeah, so. it, it, whatever. It's like really sharp metallic um, vanilla. Yeah. Um, you just that sharp. If anyone that's had like some of those budget whiskeys, especially Irish and Scotch. You get that uh, just because it's a mash bill. You get that really raw, fresh, uh, bitey, ethanol-y, um, just grain-heavy kind of front. Um, and there's not really anything else going on mm. in the bottom or anything. It's missing a lot of base. It is, I've heard, uh, it, this one's predominantly or all uh, done by being uh, aged in um, used, bur is it ex-bourbon barrels? Aged um, in bourbon casks, it says. Yeah, so, um, but there is also a lot of uh, information going around that there's use of uh, sherry finishing, which I'd I'm be surprised if they did that and didn't mention it. Yeah. Um, maybe that's a different run, uh, different bottlings by the same name. They've just switched it up. It tastes like peanuts. It tastes like peanut butter. Whoa, that's weird. Yeah, but like, if someone put like, 
spray like some your mum was spraying um bench cleaner across the bench while you were peanut or buttering you, you're buttering up your toast yeah, so and it's kind of like that aerosol or whatever crap's kind of mm. slightly landed on it it's got this really oh. sharp weirdness to those it those metallic notes are really strong as well you could use this in a cocktail like you could uh, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna bother mixing not it with gonna try it, no. um coke or any or oh. any highball again that was a mistake last time I'm not even really getting that much sweetness either, which is odd, especially for an Irish. It's there. It's it's sweet, but it's like it's just so weird, sharp and sharp, thin and yeah. watery. Yeah. It's very thin and it dies very quickly. It's almost green grass. I'm getting a little bit of like fruits, but they're like... It tastes like a peanut. It's not very nice. It's like, like there's, there's some there's some sultanas, I reckon. I'm getting and like, like a little nuts. bit of... Like I'm getting like, mix. yeah, yeah, but like with the kind of raisins in it as yeah. well. Yeah, it's like trail mix. Um, it's like they've got is it pecans or what? No, what Brazil nuts? You know those kind of bitter the ones. Big ones, yeah. Got that, yeah, the big kind of bitter ones. It's yeah. kind of got that weird, um, mm. thin but also waxy at the same time kind of. Yeah, yeah, I get weird what you mean. thing going on, and it's kind of bitter. Um, it's also it's got a little bit of that butter. Like butteriness that Irish has, but I think that's just from the grain. It's Touch, and it's and it's also bit, yeah. yeah, like it's a just a little bit. It's not like quintessential Irish with the butter biscuit and stuff. It's missing that. It's missing the apple for me altogether. So it's a lot get. of Irish notes that are like classic Irish notes. Yeah. It's got um I can see just a small hint of butter, but it's not Yeah. I'm not getting like, like the cream creamy, though. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm not getting like that genuine like heavy cream. Um buttered kind of what are they called shortbreads yeah those biscuits those cookies whatever back on the um, nose we're getting more yeah. cinnamon now cinnamon nutmeg on the nose yeah it's a little bit, a little bit of spice but it's like you can't tell whether it's spice like from a note or if it's like the ethanol kind of just thing. like sharp like because it is very sharp and thin look this isn't like horrendous but it's not good uh, for us, oh, if you've tried it and you like it, yeah, it's too it's ethanol. -y. It needs like ethanol I don't with know. a trail mix. It's like you've gone hiking with your ethanol for your cooker and you've dropped your nuts in the ethanol. That's what it tastes like. <laughs> Dip your, your bag. In, you've dripped your nuts pouring, in the like, <laughs> Dip your nuts in the ethanol. Hey, don't you hate it when it happens? You go for a hike and you drop your nuts in the ethanol. It's just. Happens to everyone. I don't know. What, it's in a, your method. It's a very, it's a valid, it's a very valid note. Everyone would, everyone in their head right now is going, oh, I know that. I remember that. I know what that tastes like. My nuts fell in the ethanol. <laughs> I had some metho, I had some nuts. Don't know how they got together, but. I, I would only drink that in a cocktail, to be honest. The nose is not that bad now that it's opened up, but the palate, I can't get past that. I don't know what kind of cocktail you'd use it in though because i would think like something like this would go better with something citrusy but like whiskey doesn't really lean as well with citrusy stuff mm. and i think that the weird kind of i don't know maybe a whiskey sour but uh, i don't know to be honest like my favorite um we'll probably do it in a, on a for a friday video eventually but we'll do like a um amaretto sour and i love it with like a half shot or a shot of um high proof bourbon yeah and if i i would maybe try that instead but i don't think a whiskey sour on its own i think it would need like the amaretto and stuff mm -hmm. i don't wow. think we mentioned the know. price this is 45 to 50 bucks so i mean falling in that Fine. price range like jamison proper 12 i would drink yeah. both of those over this preferably. yes yeah i imagine that this is pretty cheap everywhere else like in the 20 20 what pounds i don't know 20 i don't know really we don't really yeah i don't know the it'll probably be 20 bucks in america i assume if it's distribution's fine yeah um but yeah it's it's not like it's not expensive but it's still not worth it for me that i've ever i'd ever spend it again i completely agree I'll with you and i just buy yeah. jamison or something <laughs> exactly. again or i don't know or just like anything to be honest like there's just there are better options for that price range it's not really it's not filling a gap that was needed at all. Mm. Irish whiskey, like we did the Bushmills. Remember, we was it Bushmills? We preferred over even the stout cask somehow when we blind Talamore, tasted it. it. Talamore, do you want Talamore? Yeah. I think we've had Bushmills. I don't know. Haven't we? Well, either way, like there are ones like that that are cheap. 
Yeah. Uh, and they're much better. Like they've still got like a touch of ethanol and a touch of like brightness Metallic, and stuff. Yeah. But like they've got other traditional like Irish whiskey flavors. Whereas this is like missing 90% of that. Uh, it's kind of sitting in a weird spot, but mm. try it. Hopefully they get better. Uh, they delve into more stuff. They've got experience clearly in the industry, but maybe yeah. just not with spirit making. They may be aging some stuff themselves instead of sourcing it and blending it. Hopefully that's just the case and we get to see some better stuff from them soon. Uh, but as of where it is now, not really somewhere I'm going to put my money again anytime soon before I look at some reviews. Alrighty, thank you very much for watching this episode of Everything Whiskey. If you liked it, leave us a like. Uh, if you want to see future episodes from us, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. If you do, see you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.